Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to use helpers.tlp in Helm with examples. Okay. So let's start. So in this session, we are going to use, we are going to learn how to use this helpers.tlp in Helm. So first of all, we need this prerequisite. So we need a AWS account with Ubuntu native 4.04 LTS, EC2 instance. Then we need installed mini cube cube ctl install okay mini cube and cube ctl so and we need to install helm also okay so the prerequisite is we need to install mini cube and cube ctl so i uh, i have already installed mini cube here if you want to check then you can check mini cube status okay so i have already installed mini cube you can see host is running kubelet running Cube config running. Okay. So mini cube install that means cube CTL also install. Okay. Now let's start to learn how to use this helpers.tlp. So first of all, we need to install helm. So let's install helm using this command. So first of all, I'm going to using curl command to install helm. And then after that, we need to give this permission using chmod command. And then let's install helm. So it's done. If you want to check, then you can, as you can see, Helm install into this particular location. Okay. So let's clear screen. If you want to check, then you can run the command Helm version. You can see this uh, version and so on. Okay. That means we have successfully installed Helm, CTL, and Minikube, right? Okay. Now let's start. So first of all, here I mentioned the purpose of this, right? You can see. Okay. So wait a second. Okay. So purpose of this helpers.tlp in help chat. So the primary purpose of helm, uh, the helpers.tlp file is helm is to serve as centralized utility for code reuse and configuration management. So it allows developers to define reusable YAML snippets and enabling the creation of standardized configuration across helm chat. So additionally, it fa facilitates uh, the encapsulation of help fun helper functions and providing a means to streamline repetitive tasks and enhance the modularity of the chart. Okay, so helpers.tlp allows for the setting of default values for variables, ensuring consistent and sensible configuration while allowing flexibility for users to customize as needed and in enhance, the file plays a pivotal role in maintaining code clarity, reducing redundancy, and promoting best. Okay, so that's the purpose of helpers.tlp in Helm chart. So let's see the example. So here, first create a chart and you can any name to your chart. So okay, so you can give any name to your chart. So I'm going to give the name my chart to my chart. Okay. So let's create a chart. So the command is helm create my chart. So you can rename this. Okay, it's creating if I run the ls command as you can see, my chart. Okay. Okay. Then after that, open the my chart directory using the following command. Okay. Let's insert this. And if I run the ls command, as you can see, the files chart.yaml, charts, templates, and values.yaml. So first of all, we need to change this in values.yaml. So let's open the values.yaml file. Okay. And here, into this values.yaml file, you can see then add the environment variable section below the service section entry. Okay. So we need to add this environment variable from here to here in service section. Okay. So let's see. So let's scroll down and here. You can see here you need to enter this. You can see below service section after the port 80. You can see. Okay. So let's save. You can see in 
एनवायरमेंट वेरिएबल नेम डीबी होस्ट वैल्यू लोकल होस्ट नेम डीबी पोर्ट एंड द वैल्यू इज थ्री थ्री जीरो सिक्स ओके सो लेट्स सेव द फाइल एंड एक्सिट ओके इट्स डन राइट देन आफ्टर दैट लेट्स ओपन द सी टेम्पलेट्स फोल्डर सो लेट्स इनसाइड द टेम्पलेट फोल्डर यूजिंग सी डी कमांड and if i run the ls command as you can see the files in this templates folder okay so you can see here helpers.tlp file okay then the deployment.yaml hpa.yaml ingress.yaml service.yaml and service account.yaml and test folder okay so here open this helpers.tlp file and define the environment variable in it okay so we have made the changes in values.yaml file right so now it's time to change us helpers.tlp file Okay, so let's open the helpers.tlp file using sudo nano command. okay so in this file here you can see open the helpers.tlp file and define the environment variable in it okay so we need to define this environment variable in this so i'm going to copy this from here to here and let's paste So I'm going to paste here. Okay. Okay, let's save this. Okay, it's done. Then after that, we need to make some changes in development deployment file. So let's open the de deployment file. And in this deployment file, we need to add these in containers, right? So let's see the containers. Here is a container, right? So in this container, first of all, name, chart name, then after that, image, right? And then environment variables. Sorry, environment, right? Okay. So let's save the first. Let's copy from here to here. name image port right name image and port Okay. Then okay. So let's check once. Okay, it's done. So let's save the file and exit. It's done. Then after that, now you need to exit from this directory using this cd command. Okay. Let me clear screen first. Okay. It's done. Now run the helm template command. So now it's time to run helm template command using this helm template my chart that your helm chart name. Okay. So I can see in this unexpected defined. Okay. We are in this file. Okay. So let's open this file and let's check. Yeah. 
let's check the code. Now let's save and exit. And now let's run the command. Okay, as you can see. Right, you can see the, you can see the output that is, you can see. After running this, as you can see, the block of generated my chart dot environment template from the helpers dot TLP. Okay, so as you can see here, the code that we have generated. Okay, so you can see, you can see the block of generated by the my chart environment template from helpers dot TLP. And it includes the DB host, DB port environment variables and defining values dot YAML. Okay. So you can see the output demonstrate how Helm process the templates and values to generated Kubernetes manifest file. Okay, so you can see here the file. First of all, you can see the version, kind, metadata, name, and so on the service. You can see service.yaml file also. Okay, deployment.yaml file, right? So you can see here in containers, you can see first of all values and the name, port number, and so on. Okay. So here in this example, so first of all, helpers.tlp define a templates name that mychart.environment that generates the environment block and based on the environment variables specified in values.yml file. Okay. Then in deployment.yml file includes this example using includes mychart environment. Then values.yml file contains the environment variables that db host, db port in this case. Okay. So that's the output. So first, here I mentioned some use case of helpers.tlp helm chart. So as you can see, first of all, standardized labels. Okay, so define standardized labels for Kubernetes resource. It helpers.tlp. Then ensure consistency across your helm chart, making it easier to identify the managed resources. Then default resources request. Set default resources request and limits for containers in helpers.tlp and improve the out of the box performance of your Helm chart with sensible resource configuration. Okay, then next is centralized namespace handling and after that reusable automation. Okay, so that's it. So you can check this output, right? So that's it. So in this session, we have learned how to use helpers.tlp in help with examples. Okay. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.